Okay, Chef Curtis Stone. How are you? Welcome back. <laughs> it's so good to All see right, you. Darling. All right. I've missed you. I have missed you. It's nice to be back. And you know, you have pulled out all the stops for your fifth anniversary. Congratulations, sure by Thank the you. way. Thank you. Thank you. And you have to celebrate with us. Ask about the sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to reveal all the details, but right. you know, lots of great things going on. When you do something, though, Chef, it's it's more than just what the name might imply, because you say coffee and spice grinder, but whether you're doing rubs, whether you're doing your spices, right. whether you're doing your coffee or your espresso, this is like small but mighty, basically. Here's the most important thing about a spice grinder, and I'm just going to dive right in, because okay. it's got a little um, lid, right, that goes right. over the top to make sure nothing flies out. But here's what's so cool about this. It is stainless steel, you guys, all right? So that means no flavors are ever going to stay inside the spice grinder, which sounds like a small thing, but trust Trust me, yeah. when you go from doing coffee to curry powder, you don't want those two things combining. So I'm going to put some, some coffee beans in here. So, of course, one of the perfect things to do in a spice grinder is grind your own coffee. That means you're getting beautiful, fresh yeah. coffee all the time. Ooh, and it is super good. fast. All right, so whether you want a really coarse grind like the one I've just done oh, yeah. right now, or a medium grind, which I've done right next to it, or even the fine grind, which is super powdery, nice. this, this spice grinder will take you to whatever so grind you like. I did all of that and all you're those always three. in precise control. Absolutely. Now, here's something that, what happens when you run out of powdered sugar? Yeah. Well, you normally have to run down the street, right? But when you've got this guy, you throw just a bit of normal granulated sugar in, you pop the lid on, and you make your own powdered sugar. Yes, out of town. How, how, look how quick it is, too. Come that's on. how powerful it is. Isn't that so cool? Are you kidding me? So look at this. So I've in never just seen ever to do this. in just seconds, and watch. I've, I've baked some brownies. This is my oh, new baking powder, perfect. by the way. Look at how fine. But look that how is. fine and gorgeous that is. So whether you're doing something really light and dainty, or whether you want to just sprinkle plenty of it on, you can do that too. So. Well, more is more, and I do want to remind you, this price is good for this hour. Rick, if it's okay, I'd love to show how few of these we mm. have, because I know it's going to sell out in this show. It's $5 on your flex pay. Wow. Uh, honestly. Five bucks? Five bucks, exactly. <laughs> five bucks. And remember, it's only as long as supplies last for the 2,400 people that we have. Every single review on this is perfect, and that was at the $40 cool. purchase price. Okay, what are you going to do first? So next? I'm going to make a curry powder. So I've got all different seeds, uh, coriander, I've got some cardamom, some turmeric. You stick it all into your spice grinder. Yeah. Now, don't forget, spices, as they get older, will actually age, and the spice will not taste the same way. Yeah. So, you know, when you're buying pre-ground spice mixes, and I'm just going for a coarse grind here, and I'm going to show you oh, the difference. That's actually really pretty. So see how that's a coarse grind? If yeah. you want to take it a bit further, you okay. stick it back in, and you turn it back on. So effectively what's happening while you're grinding these spices is you're uh, massaging the natural oils right. out of the spices, which is where all the flavor is. Okay, so you see I'm giving this like another 20 seconds, yeah. 25 seconds, and then you remove it and have a look how much finer it's gotten it compared oh, to so super beautiful. powdery now where before it would still have little pieces in it. So, you know, you can take it to whichever, um, oh, you know, level so you want. So you're now able to create all of your own spice mixes, whether you're doing dry rubs, if you're barbecuing like I love to, this is the perfect tool. So next I've got some of these. You've seen these in the grocery store. They're freeze-dried raspberries, yeah. okay? You pop these in because you're probably thinking, well, I just like them as a snack and yeah. that's okay. But what we're going to do here is pop them into the spice grinder and make a raspberry powder. Oh, no kidding! So have you ever been to one of those fancy restaurants that puts like a little bit of powder yeah. on the side of the plate? Well, this is how we do it. Oh, so wait a minute. Instead of those like crazy confection, you know, red dye number fill in the blank that you sprinkle on cupcakes, right. you're doing raspberries instead. We're doing raspberries instead. So how see cool. how you get a little bit of that powder. And yeah. so if you're doing cupcakes... Oh, that's beautiful! How cool is that? And you saw I only had it in for a minute. If you want to, that's sugar. That's natural sugar. That's raspberry. That's just raspberry. So it's beautiful and sweet. So you're going to cut. You can add some powdered sugar to it if you like. Right. But you don't have to. You know, you can get that beautiful, intense color. Oh, that's pretty. And you can buy freeze freeze dried mango. You can buy raspberries. You can buy strawberries. Any kind of fruit. You can even buy beets. There's so many different can things to take. Can you believe the power though? And remember, this fifteen dollar price cut is good for the well, the next two thousand of you who call. So I do have to remind you, everything with Curtis on five K flex. Pay. Today's special, a lot of you have already started to pre-order. What do you want going on there? This is rice. So I'm putting okay. rice into the spice grinder and I'm creating rice flour. You are not. You know what? You In can make flowers grinder? out of 
basically anything if you've got the right motor. And you can hear the torque that this thing's got. It's a really strong grinder, so you can literally grind all sorts of stuff. Again, like I'm, I'm doing this all in a rush, so I'm, I'm literally only giving things 30 seconds. You might want to give this maybe 60 seconds. Okay. But let's see just how far it's already come. All right, now this is crazy. Do you know the only other appliance that I've ever done this with is 200, a $200 blender? The only other kitchen right. demonstration item I've ever seen that demo is a $200 blender that we sell here at HSN. And you're getting this for five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> for five dollars. And you know, if you want to get more um, more natural oils into your diet, like I've got some flaxseed here. Okay. You pop flaxseed into, um, you can use sesame seed. There's yeah. a million different things you can put in here. And again, we're grinding it. Um, you know worries about the stainless steel right. because you know that none of those flavors are going to carry over and you're creating your own flaxseed powder here. So, so you know, if you, like chia seed and stuff like that You can too? use chia, absolutely. Oh, wow. So if you're looking for a bit more um, roughage in your diet, this is the way to do it. Because look at that. Great, that you can use fabulous. nuts. Imagine almond flour that you can make fresh and then be putting that into anything okay, that you're baking. Okay, I do want to forewarn you. With the 2,000 that we have remaining, there are almost 700 of you calling. This is a sign of things to come. Basically, yep. when we do these 11 o'clock, what I call the pre-game show, you know, the warm-up before the big today's special at midnight. We price everything to sell out. And this, for almost everything that you'll see in this hour, is only for this hour. So this is a one-shot deal. You don't have any, you might not even have a blender that does this. I don't know about you, but there are a lot of two and three hundred dollar blenders that will not do the grind oh, absolutely. The that you've done here. Yeah, because they don't Seriously. have the power. Um, and you know, the thing about this cup, it's the perfect size. It is. You know, I know it looks a little small, but the, what you want is you want that circumference to be quite small yeah. so that, you know, your, your spice grinding happens so much Makes faster. Sense, yeah. If it's in a much bigger blender, even with more power, it would take cinnamon? longer. This is cinnamon. Woo! So if you've got cinnamon stick and you want to turn it into cinnamon powder, again, like you said, you'd normally need a big machine to do yeah. this. But you can grind any kind of spices. So, you know, and again, I'm doing it all for 10 to 15 seconds, so it's super fast. You could leave this go for 60 seconds, say, okay, if you wanted unreal. to get it super fine. So we're just going to get a little cinnamon going on. Um, and then... Check this out. Okay. So, again, and it just lifts out so easily. So oh, when you're doing your hot chocolate fabulous. and you want a little garnish, away you go. But you know, so many people are doing gingers. And I mean, anything oh, yeah. that you want to grind. I mean, this is a mill. I don't know about you, but they're, most two and $300 blenders will not do what Chef just demonstrated. Well, check out these dried mushrooms. I mean, <laughs> really? yeah, mushroom powder is a beautiful, beautiful Actually, way. I hear a lot about that. Too. Oh, yeah, well, you can add it yeah. to soups. And you can... Absolutely. And you can imagine how difficult this is. If I had a knife here and I was trying to chop this up and blend it, it like it's that. actually really quite difficult. But to just throw them in, it just sinks it down, it chews it up, and it creates this incredible powder in just minutes. Okay, you guys see, that's like dust. Right. I mean, it looks like dust. I'm serious about that. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even, like, like pulverized dust. It's coming Isn't that out. cool? That is crazy. All right, the clock is getting ready to expire in 90 seconds. We will be calling this sold out in about two minutes or less. They don't have this. If you are new to the world of Chef Curtis Stone, five glorious years here, number one selling brand, number <laughs> one selling cookware, top rated. Thank you. And you know what? We'd love to hear from you. Your uh, customers are really your biggest inspiration. They really are. You know what? When when my customers call in and tell me about what they've been cooking or what they want me to make, yeah. I go back to the to the team, the designers, and we come up with stuff and we, we love do. it. You know, whether you're grinding fresh pepper, which is what I've got in here, oh, and again, you can take it this course. Let me show you when it looks nice and coarse. Oh, wow. If you want to take it Smell a little that. finer. So here I've got oh, wow. pink peppercorns. You can put green peppercorns. I've got black pepper, white pepper. So you can start to really get a bit more inventive with your right. cooking. Um, and, you know, look, that's had another 15 seconds. Well, it's and so like fast. Well, like you said, even spices that we use every day, like, you know, pepper or salts, if, if they're already pre-ground, they're starting to lose some of their flavor Absolutely. right away, right? Absolutely. They do. Instantly, actually. Instantly. So as soon as they're ground, what you should be doing is cooking with them straight away, because that's when you're going to get the most out of the flavor. Um, and when you've got something that's as powerful as this little guy, and let me show it to you, you saw me do three yeah. different types. Have a look at the difference in the pepper. Oh, if you want man. fine, medium, or coarse grind, it happens like that for you. On it's so, so same efficient. dynamic machine. By the way, you can probably hear that grill uh, already warming up. So if you're doing like a blackened steak or oh, yeah. a burger, a peppercorn steak, oh, nothing yeah. better. Okay, what are you working on over there? Wood chips. So this oh, is just on, really, really to show you just how tough it is. But okay. if you want to incorporate a little smoke into something you're doing, you mentioned barbecue. 
through, throw wood chips in here. Okay. It won't even damage the blade. I mean, it's just so powerful that in 60 seconds okay. that's going to be a powder. If, if, if you put wood in your blender at home, yeah. mom's going to, you know, somebody's going to get to talk into, right? Check this out. For five bucks, if you can do wood, Wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look, look at that. So you know, and like I said, Come if you on. kept it going, you just get it finer and finer all the way down to a Okay, powder. if he's doing wood, <laughs> peppercorn, I mean everything from coriander, cumins, you know, I love the idea with the cupcakes with those uh, uh, freeze-fried raspberries. So last call. Couple hundred remaining. What's in here before we go? Uh, Breadcrumbs. So if you oh. want to make a quick little breadcrumb because you've run out, yeah. this really saves you because you're now able to make breadcrumbs, you're able to make different flours, you're able to do yeah. your own spices, and of course, grind your own coffee. So there's, Smart. there's so many things you can use. Okay, before. well, basically, if you're calling now, you got it. Otherwise, you're <laughs> waiting too long. You've never seen anything like this. Um, no kidding. A lot of these demonstrations I wouldn't do in my $200 blender, and that's the right. truth, seriously. So yep. grab